Good day everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Glenn Pajares and in today's video I'll be discussing the physical self in understanding the self. So what is the physical self? The physical self refers to the body or to the human being having a body. So there are two content contending schools of thought or views regarding the body. There are those thinkers or philosophers and even psychologists to believe that the human being is nothing but the body. Others also believe that the human being is not just the body, but also the mind, the psyche, or the soul, and the substantial union of these two. There are also those who say that the body is merely the receptacle or the container of man, because for them, the human being is the mind, the psyche, or the soul. So for them, the body is not man. So these are the varying op opinion of thinkers, philosophers, and even psychologists on the nature of man and the relationship between the psyche, the mind, the soul, and the human body. So we have William James, an American pragmatist and psychologist, who claims that the body is a tool or is in an instrument of expressing human consciousness. In other words, our thoughts, our intentions, our mind are expressed to our body. In fact, our feelings are revealed or manifested through the body. And we know or understand the intention of people, their thoughts, their, their perceptions, the way they think, how they feel, even their intentions, through the body as these thoughts or feelings are expressed. So, in other words, the body is our bridge, our means towards understanding or, or accessing human thoughts, human psyche, human emotions, and human intentions. So, that's how important the body is in understanding the self, because it's really part of the self. So, we cannot ignore that. We have the psychoanalytic school, uh, specifically Sigmund Freud, according to him, that the human body is one with the soul, substantially one. So the human being is uh, psychosomatic. In other words, what happens or what affects the body also affects the psyche, the mind or the soul and vice versa. So if the mind is sick, so the body is also affected. If the body is sick, the mind, the psyche or the soul is also affected. So that's what a psychosomatic being is and the relationship between the mind, the psyche, or the soul, and the body. Aside from the psychoanalytic school, we also have um, another psychologist named Eric Erikson. According to him, that the development of the human body, or physiological development, is essential to human development. We cannot speak of the development of mind, intellectual development, or the development of the psyche without the physiological development. So the physiological development supports or goes hand in hand with the intellectual development. So if you only speak of intellectual development without bodily development, then that is lacking, that is incomplete. So if you talk about human development, it has to be both mental or intellectual and bodily or together. In fact, the physiological development is very essential because through this development, man learns or acquires skills and competences that is required for him to perform his or her social roles, social tasks, and social obligations. So if the body is not fully developed, then it can hinder or hamper man's efficiency in performing all these obligations, tasks, and duties to others and to society. However, I would say that the body might be might pose a limitation but after all it it can be overcome so people have the power to transcend physical limitation for example there are those people at birth or later in life lack uh, the physical perfection of a human being in other words some of their parts are, are absent or they lack the integral or essential parts of of their body and yet they're still able to accomplish or fulfill their dreams. So it only shows that 
it might pose a limitation and it is a real limitation but the human being has the power to transcend that so people who who lack physical perfection and still at the end of the day become successful i consider them as exemplary or in fact an inspiration to everyone so those people who claim that they cannot achieve their dreams despite that they have complete butter parts and they have all the opportunities so that's that's false no, that's a fallacy so if if these people who lack physical integrity or perfection can achieve their dreams so all the more those people who have complete physical perfections or physical parts so it's never a hindrance aside from eric erickson we also have abraham maslow according to abraham maslow that the goal of the human being is self-actualization or self-perfection and self-perfection can only be achieved if one is able to satisfy the physiological need which is the most basic of all or the the first uh, step in the hierarchy or in the pyramid of, of needs and the pyramid of human perfection in the hierarchy towards self-actualization the first step is the satisfaction of the physiological need so you cannot remove the physical self the development of the physical self towards the perfection or the actualization of the individual human person and also there are varying opinions because uh, some would say that man is simply the body and the goal of life is to acquire pleasures of the body for these people like hedonists and epicureans they say that since the human being is no other than bodily parts so they don't believe in the soul or the afterlife or the spiritual world so they say that for so long as you're alive make the most of it carpe diem seize the day live a happy pleasurable life you know, eat uh, sleep and be merry for tomorrow we will die in fact uh, they are not afraid of dying because for them death is the end of consciousness the end of pleasure the end of pain the end of sensation so at that moment people will no longer feel anything so there's no need to fear and there's no need to worry others also believe that since man has a spirit as a soul or a psyche he's more than just a body the perfection of the body or the development of the body is a means towards mental psychological or spiritual perfection so that's how important the bodily self is so we have to take care of the body be responsible because to have a, a healthy soul a healthy mind one has to have a healthy body so we speak of total or integral human development and essential to it is the the taking care or the development of the physical self Thank you for watching and listening. Please click like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.